Hi, this is Dr. Ankur Behel. I am a Senior Director in Medical Oncology and Hemato-Oncology at Fortis Hospital, Gurugram. Immunotherapy is a new term which is being uh, often labelled by our doctors or a patient or a caregiver or a referral uh, practitioner to us. So immunotherapy are, are classes of drugs which enhance the body own immune system and this enhanced immune system kills the cancer. So this treatment is something different which a chemotherapy or a targeted therapy does not give. So uh, to in a, in a very uh, simple words, I would say that it increases uh, the potential of our own immunity which is the lymphocytes in our body and these lymphocytes, uh, the enhanced lymphocyte or a stimulated immune system kills the cancer in a way which was not seen before. So it's coming up lately within last two to three years where we are giving or offering or prescribing immunotherapy in various cancers which includes a lung cancer, kidney cancer, hepatocell, breast and many more. So immunotherapy is very costly drug. It, it comes uh, with an expertise, with the cost, but yes, who to give immunotherapy, which cancer to be given immunotherapy, it comes with a precision. So we have these tests available with us, which are called as biomarkers. If a right biomarker is done in a right patient at a right setting, then immunotherapy can be a ray of light for these patients who are metastatic stage 4. It could turn out to be a hype for uh, hope for these patients uh, when they do not have uh, any other remedies in the form of uh, either a chemotherapy or a targeted therapy but yes if given in a right patient it can turn to be a hope and if if given randomly to any cancer patient it, it may not turn to be a very good hope it can be labeled as high but yes at this point of time we oncologists have that insight in each and every patient uh, how to test these biopsy specimen how to test these biopsy specimen for a biomarker which can set the setting for an immunotherapy and this immunotherapy can do wonders in, in such a late presentation or a second line third line uh, treatment of such patients who are uh, not responding to the conventional chemotherapies. Yes, uh, the affordability is a big question in uh, oncology. So uh, it drains out money. Yes, it drains out money and it empties our bank lockers. But yes, uh, and we have seen in last uh, five to 10 years that if we use these uh, resources judicious way, in a judicious way, then, then with the right precision, with the right test, these, the, the cost of these therapies were uh, enormously high when these drugs were introduced uh, initially. But now in the era of biosimilars, uh, there, are, there are many companies, the generic companies, the cost of uh, these tablets and these targeted therapy have drastically come down. Yes, they are out of pocket still, many of them are out of pocket, but with the advent of uh, biosimilars and the, uh, the, the mushrooms of uh, uh, the imaging happening, the lots of PET CT scan in the cities, even in the B-town cities. So the cost is coming down, but yes, still it is uh, uh, high when it comes to a poor man's pocket. But yes, the government initiative, I would I would say Ayushman scheme and, and the companies uh, which are giving us patient assistance program has bring down that cost substantially in last 5-10 years. But yes, it, it's a way mile to go and achieve the, the target what, what an Indian doctor and an Indian health system should achieve. The challenges in oncology practice are still huge in our country. So, so challenges comes from uh, the first of all the eye which should detect or uh, detect a cancer in the initial stage. It, it comes down to uh, a physician, the primary physician sitting in the community, sitting in the streets and the, the, the basic community who has to have a I to, to diagnose this cancer and then this cancer should be, uh, the test should be done an appropriate level of time and the test should be sent to an appropriate pathologist and then it comes to an oncology center. So there should be a comprehensive oncology center. We have many in uh, A cities but yes when it comes down to B cities or C city we wish India still lag a comprehensive uh, uh, cancer unit uh, and the meaning of camp comprehensive cancer unit is a, a, a perfect amalgamation of radiation oncology, medical oncology, surgical oncology and allied services. So it's still a challenge in our country. So another challenge which comes down to is the availability of these resources, the availability of these drugs and the ratio of an oncologist 
to the patients in the society which is still low so india is emerging the country is emerging with all these resources but yet uh, the uh, there's a diagnostic challenge there's a treatment challenge there's a financial challenge and then the hospice challenge many of our patients take treatment from us but when it comes to a palliative care and a hospice care still india is lacking on these uh, services when uh, so these all these services make a comprehensive unit and uh, we still have to go many miles to achieve this uh, target so one point uh, uh, which i would like to highlight is that many of our uh, uh, patients or the caregivers they do a health insurance so before uh, ticking out that i agree to this health insurance they should read the clause so cancer incidence is coming up very high in the society uh, almost i would say that every uh, family has a one cancer patient or a cancer survivor so when this disease is i would say endemic it, it's all uh, around us so we should have our insurances well we should read our policies well and we should have a clause of these targeted therapies and immunotherapy which, which is the coming up treatment for these cancer patient and every person who is getting himself or his uh, relative insured should check all these vital points before signing for an agreement i think this is a crucial thing which we clinicians feel daily that uh, all these insurance policies should have this uh, clause of cancer treatment with the various techniques of chemotherapy targeted therapy as well as immunotherapy